Right, so we're in Birmingham this afternoon. Another EV charger to install. Uh, we're fitting an Omi Pro on this one. So we're going to be fitting an outdoor IP enclosure next to the meter enclosure here. We're going to drop down, around, and then up to fit the charger just on the wall here. So it's a nice short run on this one. We have got some new WCED Henley blocks to have a try on in here, so we'll give those a go in a bit as well and see how those are. WCED board again, two pole surge protection, RCD protection. We're going to be Flexicon out the bottom to the meter cabinet, 25mm stuffing land which is going to go out to the supply cable for the charger itself. So A few people have queried the use of 10mm tails for the EV charger. So we have an 80 amp fuse in this property. Now, the DNO says that providing that we have some form of load limiting device or downstream protection to those tails, it's perfectly fine to use 10mm tails for this EV install. A couple of people have queried it and those are the answers for you. So, we made a couple of little alterations from the last one. People were moaning the fact that we hadn't used a gland here as we entered the box um, and we just used a tie wrap to hold it back to stop the copex from pulling out. So just to try and please everyone, we've fitted a 32mm gland in this which allows the copex to pass through it. We can still let the copex into the meter enclosure. But it also means that the, the gland is holding the copex nice and tight. We'll get that all tightened up um, and that'll dress round then to the unit that's here. Hope that helps and pleases everybody. So, chargers on the wall, ready to go. Uh, the Omi Home Pro comes as a completely sealed unit, so it has a tail lead on it, um, which then you have to connect into an outdoor IP rated box. I'm not a big fan of this charger, uh, purely and simply because of the fact that you have to do that. I just think it's an unnecessary connection. Omi do another charger that has got a access point at the bottom where you can connect into the charger yourself. Me personally, I prefer that charger. This is great with the fact that it's got the screen and all the rest of it on it, um, but as from an electrical perspective, the extra connection I'm not a, a massive fan of. Uh, we'll get that connected up at the bottom, get some more images after so you can see what's going on, and then we'll get the cable clipped around here. Charger cables clipped all the way down the wall. We looped into the bottom of a Whisker 607 box. A couple of Wago 221s that are ready to go, and then we're going to take our EV Ultra cable out the bottom of here, around, and then up to the little IP rated board that's just over there. Whisker box is all done and sorted. The EV Ultra is being clipped around the side of the building using linear clips. We did try some D line clips the other day, but I really wasn't a fan of them. They didn't look as neat as this, and using them with a the spit gun wasn't great either, if I'm honest. Um, WCD board's all done and finished, um, so I'm going to lid that up in a minute once we've done a bit of testing. Um, we'll get into the meter box and get that sorted. We're going to be trying out some of the new WCED Henley blocks on this one. Um, they do them in green, brown, blue, and they also do black and grey for your three phase stuff. What I do really like about these is they actually all clip together. So you can slide them together, they clip together, which means you can mount them in here just nicely. We'll get them mounted, connected up. These will take a 2.5 to 35 mil tail, um, and they're also uh, hex keys inside. If get it to open. So they're nice and easy to connect up. Little sliders to pop out, so if ever you need to adapt them, you can quite easily. Yeah, so we go, see how they are. WCD Henley blocks, honestly, amazing. Cannot fault them. Really nice and simple to use. Um, connections are really good and open on them. Um, like I said before, I used to use the Proteus ones. These, I think, are so much better. I just love the fact that they click together. There's no issues with height. They all sit lovely and perfectly. Yeah, can't fault them. Charger's all finished off, powered up, tested, sorted. Gentleman's just gonna pull his car over so we can test it on the vehicle to make sure everything's working fine. Everything's all dressed in nice and neatly. Outdoor consumer unit, it's all labeled up, done and sorted. Still can't get over how great these Henley blocks are. I'm really, really impressed with them. Connections are all done. Stuffing gland in the bottom of the meter just to make sure everybody's happy. All done, all sorted. Hopefully see you on another one.